Here we are asked to find the solutions for each of the systems of linear equations that are shown on each of the graphs here. So I have three different graphs, each representing a different system of two linear equations in two variables. The first one is the simplest one to answer because we see that the two lines intersect at one place and only one place. So this is an example where we have one solution of a consistent independent system of two linear equations. So it has only one distinct solution. In other words, one point where the two lines intersect. Now you might write this as just the ordered pair, or you can write them in set brackets depending on the directions of the problem. So we're going to do our x and our y coordinate, and the curly bra brackets represent that this is the only solution in the entire set of possibilities. So for this point, what are the coordinates? The x coordinate is negative two, and the y coordinate is four. So we would say that the single solution to this system is at the point negative two comma four. All right, let's look at another example here. Here we see in the second graphic, it looks like the two lines never cross. And you sometimes have to be a little careful because if you were to zoom way out, sometimes it might appear that they're parallel when you're close up, but if you go far away, maybe they're slanting slightly and they will cross somewhere. So it's a good idea to just verify that they have the same slope, which would mean that they're parallel and they never cross. So for the first line, I'm just going to pick two points and use rise over run to determine the slope. So the slope of this first line from my leftmost point, I would go down one and over two units. So a rise of negative one and a run of positive two gives me a slope of negative one half. For the second line, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pick two points and go from one down one unit and to the right two units. So again, my second line also has a rise of negative one and a, a uh, run of positive two. So these two lines have the exact same slope, which means they're parallel and they have no solution. Now this type of system is called a, an inconsistent system because they don't have at least one point that they share. And the way that you would give the answer is to say simply no solution. Or depending on the instructions on your homework and the coding of the digital platform, you may just be asked to write something like the word none. So just be sure to read your directions on how to give the best possible answer. So this final example here, it appears there's only one line graphed on here, but this is represent, representing a system of two linear equations. So that means there's another line hiding under the first one. In other words, the two linear equations actually come out to be the same line. So in this situation, what we would say is that it, this is a consistent system because they do share at least one point in common, but they share infinitely many points in common so we'll say that it's a, an, a consistent dependent solution because depending on where you go on this line, the line underneath it will have that same coordinate. And also depending where you go on here, anywhere on this line or the line underneath it, you can start with one variable, one coordinate, and depending on which coordinate you've chosen for say X, that will do, determine what your y coordinate is. So what we can say for the answer is that there are infinitely many solutions. And sometimes that's all you have to say. But sometimes the directions might say to write your solutions, say, in terms of x. Or it might say with x arbitrary. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that your solution set would represent all the points where you have a randomly chosen, or not completely randomly, but you go somewhere uh, and pick a point, and you pick an x value, 
and then your y value is going to depend on x. So instead of writing a y, you're going to write it in terms of x with the relationship that is represented by the line. So that means an equation. So you may be familiar, and hopefully you are, with the slope intercept y equals mx plus b, where b is your y-intercept. So for instance, here b would be 1, 2, 3, so b equals 3 for the y-intercept. And the slope, if you just pick two points, let's pick these two points down here. So from one point, I would move up two units and to the right one to get to another point on the line. So that would be a slope of a rise of positive 2 and a run of positive 1, so a slope of 2. So that would mean that the equation of this line is y equals 2x plus 3. And what I want to do is just write the part with the x in it as the relationship that y would have to x. So I'm just going to write it 2x plus 3 where the y would normally be. And similarly, you could be asked to write it in terms of y or with y arbitrary. So once again, you would be writing a, an ordered pair. And then for x, you're going to write some um, form of this equation, y equals 2x plus 3. For x in terms of y, using inverse operations, what would we do? Well, we would start by subtracting 3 on each side, right, to zero this out. And then you would have y minus 3 equals 2x. And then you would divide both sides by 2 to get a 1 here, and 1 times x is simply x, and then you would have x equals this expression. So this is what I'm going to write where I would normally have my x value written. I would just write y minus 3 over 2, and that would be a way of writing the solution in terms of y. So those are the most challenging uh, version of questions you could get in this, um, this type of problem.